Hey everyone, Andrea Renee here with Yahoo Esports. I'm here with Aaron AC Chambers, and we are here to talk about Paragon. Now, Aaron, you have a lot of experience in Dota 2, obviously, as your fans know. What did you think of Paragon? Well, this is the first time I've actually gotten a chance to get my hands on it. Um, it's not what I expected, which is really encouraging to say. Whenever, you know, the whole first person MOBA thing has been done by multiple titles. Um, so I kind of came in with a certain level of expectation, how it was going to look, how it was going to feel, and it departed from that in positive ways, I think. It's still um, very early in the, in, the, in the iteration process, you can tell that, but it is a product that, playable today, would be enjoyed by many, many people, and I can't wait to see what Epic does with it uh, moving forward. What did you think about the verticality in the game? Because that's pretty unique in the MOBA space. No, it absolutely is. Um, I was playing uh, one of the assassin characters, Kalari, in the last game I just played, and the ability to, uh, you know, abuse one of her built-in abilities, which is the double jump, and allowed me to reach places and set up for ambushes that no one else on the map could at the time. And it creates a sense of panic whenever they start to push beyond, you know, simple safe space because I can come behind them. Um, the jungle as well has a lot of verticality, and it's nice to know there are shortcuts for heroes that are given mobility, um, you know, mobility bonuses like double jump that allows me to cut into lanes and, and basically takes shorter paths to get around the map. So, um, so far, it really is interesting and really Really does alter gameplay in very, very interesting ways. Dota 2 and the International have clearly staked a massive claim in the yeah. esports community. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Paragon will be able to kind of push into that MOBA space and be successful? Um, that's a question that I don't think is, you know, just to be honest, should be answered today. Um, Dota has 12 years behind it. Um, most of the other major esports, StarCraft, and, you know, League, of course, is born of that Dota pedigree. This game has the elements that, that can allow it to get there, but I think the better approach is to stick with what is really working today, which is solid gameplay, it looks really well, it handles really well, and just get it to the players. The players are the ones who are gonna elevate that. So far as timelines and anything else, who knows? But in terms of what I see today, is there that potential? Of course, it just depends on the player base and the community getting behind the product, and I think this is a product that a community can get motivated with. And finally, if you could say one thing about your experience playing Paragon today to mm -hmm. people out there who are fans of MOBAs, what would you say? It's not going to meet your expectations, it's going to exceed them in certain ways, and it's going to alter them in other ways. Um, it, didn't, it didn't fall short in any of my expectations, and I've come in having played a lot of titles that are break into, break into the genre, who try to take the first person approach, they try to take you know, all these different twists on the, on the genre. So I've, I come, come into this a little bit, jaded's the wrong word, but just... Experienced, I would say. Right, right, exactly. And it did not fall short. It, it, it really did alter my expectations of what the title's going to become and morph into moving forward. And I think the next step, and the step I'm sure Epic is looking at, is to get it into the hands of the players and let them give the feedback, because that's going to really shape this product. It's going to take what is already a nice sculpture and really polish it. Well, Aaron, thank you so much for chatting my with pleasure. me today. And we'll bring you guys more news on Paragon right here on Yahoo Esports. Thank you.